Hello and welcome to Wales Today. I'm Jennifer Jones. The headline. Good afternoon, Prinhanda. Same-sex couples could have their civil partnerships or marriages blessed by the church in Wales for the first time. Members of the church's governing body are meeting today to, to decide on the change. They're gathered at the International Convention Centre Wales in Newport, where we can join our reporter Caroline Evans. And Car But Caroline, is this expected to pass today? But Caroline, is this expected to pass today? Five people have been taken to hospital after reports of a chemical leak at a meat processing factory on Anglesey. The latest coronavirus figures by Public Health Wales, which cover a 48-hour period, show an eyewitness has described the terrifying experience of seeing a fire take hold of a family home near Aberystwyth. The house in Borth was devastated by the fire on Friday, but miraculously, and thanks to the actions of James Davis, the family who lived there escaped unhurt. 45 firefighters were sent to tackle the blaze, as Craig Duggan reports. Anti-racism campaigners say Wales is a divided country, with most people open to immigration, but with pockets of hostility emerging. The current women's world champion in wheelchair motocross is campaigning for her sport to be included in the Paralympics. Football and defender Joe Rodon has returned to the Wales squad ahead of Wednesday's World Cup qualifier against Estonia in Cardiff. Well, let's take a look at the weather forecast now. Sue is here. A misty morning, but most of those are sunny days. That's all for this lunchtime. Nick Savini will be here with a full roundup of the day's news at 6.30. But until then, from all of us on the programme, thanks for watching and do have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.